Hey, what's going on, everybody, and welcome back to some more Euro Truck Simulator 2. I have been extremely, extremely busy on this game the past couple of weeks since the last video, and uh, I've been playing a lot of it pretty much, you know, off recording. Um, I have both versions. I have the Steam version, and I have the other version that, you know, you purchase directly from the website, and that's the one where I've spent a lot of my time on. Um, I recently purchased it on Steam. Uh, literally probably a couple days ago because uh, I went to upgrade my version I purchased from online and then it said that the key was no longer valid for whatever reason I, I don't know so basically I went to Steam and saw that it was on sale for 20 bucks so I went ahead and bought it because the original game was actually donated to me when it first came out so I said I oh, what the heck I'll buy it on Steam so at least I got, luckily, the stuff transferred over, so I was good on that. But I have been playing quite a bit, and as you guys can see, I've got myself a little bit of money now. Uh, I should say quite a bit of money, and I wanted to do all of my adjustments and upgrades with you guys because I've been running quick loads over and over and over and over again, just, just nonstop. And I tell you what, I fell asleep at the computer last night trying to make one last delivery just to get my last skill points in place and get another level and so forth and I tell you that it's a very very long <laughs> a long process um, so basically we're gonna start off by going to the uh, company manager here because uh, I wanted to show you guys that I've upgraded my um, my little truck uh, garage I think I couldn't think of the name of it truck garage so now I've got two more slots left so now I can actually select here and we can actually start to purchase a couple more trucks and I remember I'd asked you guys last time uh, if I should fire or keep these people and whatnot and I decided to go ahead and keep them um, they don't really bring me a whole lot of money but I figured that uh, you know I could at least keep them as a little bit of income since I can pretty much make quadruple the money that they can so we're gonna go ahead and take a look at some of these trucks here and see I guess we'll try we'll try running some of these truck dealerships and see what kind of horsepower they've got and uh, and see if because we need to buy two more trucks and hire two more people as well so let's see what kind of trucks we've got here so this one is uh, 540 horsepower this one is 600 horsepower. That's a good one there. I wonder if there's anything higher than that one. What is this one? This one is also 600 horsepower. What do we got next to it? Ooh, this one's 750 horsepower. That's a good one there. We're gonna purchase this bad boy. 750 horsepower. That's a good. That's a beastie truck right there. Fuel tank. 800 plus another 600 fuel tank. It's got a uh, I shift. A tail 351. Uh, engine torque. Steering left hand. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna buy one of these. Um. Actually, before I buy it. Can I? I think I can customize it first. Oh yeah. Oh, we can get rid of that Globe Trotter XL box on the top of it. I'm not too sure. I. That's actually kind of cool there. The chassis. That one's actually kind of cool there. I think I might make this one my truck. And then we'll give the other one back. So this one's already got the upgraded engine to it. We're going to upgrade the transmission. Um, nope, we don't want it on that side. Keep it on that side. Then as far as the colors go... I guess we'll have to do a a custom color change somewhere else and then let's see as far as our lights go yeah we'll go with that one 
And then we're going to jump to... Yeah, we'll go with that one there. So we can get all sorts of all sorts of stuff here. Alright, so let's see. As far as the, the front three goes, let's go with... We'll go with horns on each side of it. And then we'll go with a beacon in the middle. And then we'll go... Actually, I take that back. Let's go back to these. That's going to look too big, though, huh? Yeah, we'll go with these ones, actually, now that I think about it. Those ones there. And then the back three... We'll go with the horns like this. And then the sides, we're going to go with some bigger... Ooh, the screamers. Those look kind of cool, actually. We'll go with these lights on the sides like that. I'm going to change these guys to the screamers. Those look a little bit better than those bulky horns. And then this one... We'll go with the larger ones on the outside, and then we'll go with the smaller guys right down the middle, like this. Perfect. And then right up front. There we go. Okay, so now that's all installed there. We'll give it a little bit of a mirror shot there. We'll chrome out the sides of this thing here. What do we got? Oh, I was clicking the back tires there. That's fine. We need to upgrade the back tires and stuff anyway, so. There we go. And then the steps. We're going to like totally just pimp out this thing. There we go. And then our grill. There we go. Now we can get ourselves some some screamer horns right up front. And then we're going to go with the bigger guys on the outside. And then the square ones in the middle. We don't want it to be too much of an overkill, but I like a lot of lights on these things. And then up here, we'll go with two big ones. Nope, we have the screamers up there. <clears throat> Okay, we're good on that. The door handles, we got that. Make sure we're not forgetting anything here. Other than the paint job, which we can't do here, unfortunately. What about right here? Yeah, we're good on that. Door handles, we're good on that. Tires, we've got the tires, we've got the steps. All right, I think we're good. Alright, so now we should be able to uh, purchase this now. Uh, yes, we'd like to drive our new truck. Let's see, what is it wanting us to do here? And then pick a target slot. Sure. We will take your old one to the garage in Grimsby right away. Oh boy. This is what I've been waiting for. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is what I've been waiting for was to do all this on camera. I'll have to show you guys my upgraded garage too. It's pretty neat. Look at them horns. Holy cow. I don't know if I like that Globetrotter XL thing on the top that looks kind of goofy if you ask me. I don't like the center red hubs on those tires either, but you know what? Those Goodyear tires are probably like $1,200 tires a piece, man. Those things are expensive. There we go. Let's go ahead and fire up all of our, all of our lights here. There we go.
Boy, that thing is slick, isn't it? We just need to get a, a paint job on it, though. Let's come over here and let's get a paint job on this thing. I may have to buy another one for one of my other people, because this is a pretty powerful truck here. And there we go. Now I should be able to go to the paint shop. And then we're going to go, oh, let's see, this was another thing for you guys, too, is the other, the other paint schemes. Uh, let's see, we're going to go with, let's see, the primary color. We'll go with, no, I like that black primary color. And then the actual flame color. What about a red that dark red actually looks kind of cool with that brighter red outline, doesn't it? God, that Globetrotter thing is really bothering me, though. Let's do some green. Those are the... Let's see. Now let's go back to the green here. And then as far as the outer... Nope, don't like those. Those purple things look kind of cool, actually, just like that. That looks pretty sick like that, I must say. Yeah, we'll go with that for now, but I'm still not too sure about that Globetrotter. Not too sure about that thing yet. <clears throat> Alright, so now... <clears throat> Excuse me, my goodness. So now I think what we're going to do, let's come on over here. Yeah, this truck is quick. Let's come over here really quick and stop right there. Let's check out our uh, company manager. Let's check out our truck manager. So now, that's the truck that I'm driving. That's the truck that Charles, you guys remember Charles. And I painted them for him too. So there's uh, Mary Ann's car. I painted it pink with black stripes. And then there's my truck. So we need to hire a driver for my old truck. And we've got uh, Matu Matus. <laughs> we've got Richard. And we got Tobias. Um, they're really not all that great altogether. But let's go with uh, let's go with Tobias. Let's go ahead and hire this guy. Yes. So now he should be driving my old truck. Yes, he is. Okay, so now we should be able to purchase another truck. So let's go and maybe visit. Let me save my game really quick. Let's save it because it has a tendency of crashing for whatever reason whenever we travel to different dealerships. But you know what? I'm not even going to travel to another dealership, man. I like these... Uh, these trucks here, these are powerful trucks. See, like that one alone is uh, 540 horsepower. Let's find something that's, man, look at that one, 700 horsepower, and it's only 162 grand. Let's uh, let's go ahead and just purchase this one. Let's see, what do we got? 512 left. Yeah, we'll purchase this one. No, I don't want to drive it. I want to have it sent to there. Okay. So now that truck is being sent to my garage. Let's go ahead and go to our company manager. And our trucks. So there's the truck. So now we can paint it. I like to go with just the standard. We'll go with this. We'll go with the black. Or, I'm sorry, let's go with a yellow paint and then black stripes. I like to keep my company's vehicles all the same as far as the uh, the paint jobs and stuff go. See, I've got that one. Then you got the red and black, you got the purple and black, the green and black, and now the yellow and black. <clears throat> okay, so now we need to hire ourselves another driver. Oh, we got another guy. Edward! I'm already going with Edward. I like, because your name, you and Richard. Richard looks like problems, so let's go with Edward. Yes. 
Alright, Edward is now hired to drive that truck. Um, I wonder if I can upgrade my garage now that I'm all maxed out here. Let's see, Grimsby. No, we can't. We're probably going to have to go explore and find another another slot, maybe. Because we've got two more slots that we can actually upgrade to, but we can't upgrade to this garage, or upgrade the garage just yet. Alright, so we're maxed on trucks. We've got all of our truck spots full. All of them have drivers. So I think we're we're good to go now. Let's uh, let's take a look here and see what our drivers are doing as of now. So me, I'm just roaming. Uh, Marianne is on duty. Um, Charles is on duty. Tobias is resting. So that's what happens when you get new truck drivers. That they take a while to get into it. And Edward is also resting. So let's do... See, we can change all of them. Let's have Marianne. We're going to change her to... Um, uh, let's change Edward to High Value Cargo. We'll change Tobias to High Value Cargo. We'll change Charles to... Um, long distance and we'll change Marianne to long distance as well because I do a lot of the short runs so we'll change well two long distance and then two high value cargo people working for us here all right so we should be good to go now guys let's test out this new truck and I've also turned on the automatic uh, engine retarders engine brakes all that sort of stuff as well. You can probably hear it. Okay. Let's get this show on the road. Whoa, come on. This thing's a little powerful. Like, ah! Gotta get used to that. This thing just up and takes off. It's not too shabby. Like I said, I'm just, I'm not too sure about that Globetrotter thing up there, though. That thing is actually really bugging me a lot. But we do have a uh, truck stop just up here to uh, pick up a trailer at. With all those horns, that's all it's going to give me? Is that little... Come on, people. Okay, turn. There you go. Good job. Turn. Turn. Oh, for crying out loud. We're stuck at another red light because of you idiots. Yeah, that's a pretty slick looking truck though. <clears throat> I was dying to get all that stuff done uh, yesterday, but I was just so tired to get the final recording out and how much I've been trying to get this game going. It's been pretty crazy. Because you figure I finished up all of my other series. I beat uh, Walking Dead, I beat Tomb Raider. I've pretty much completed all my other series, so I figured I'd start focusing on a couple other games and kind of got wrapped up into this one. Wow, this thing has got some pretty good brakes and uh, an acceleration to it, too. We got two different industries here that we can actually uh, pick up some loads from. I think we're going to go to... Let's go to this one on the left here. As soon as I can get through traffic. You guys are blocking the intersection. Okay, hey, 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 let me through. You saw me trying to get through. Let's pick up a quick job here. And we've got, looks like some reservoir tanks. That's a long haul. Oh my goodness, those are long hauls. We're going to pass on those. We're going to flip around actually and go across the street and see if they've got some shorter loads that we can take.
Make sure nobody's pulling out as we go flying out here. Ah! Just like that. I'm gonna cut you off. Ah! <laughs> so much for cutting him off. Where is he? Oh! You guys didn't see that. I like drug that car. There we go. Okay, so now we've got a low bed semi trailer. We've got some cement, that's a little closer. We've got some glass panels and an excavator. We've never hauled an excavator before. We're gonna take the excavator job. There she is. go all hooked up our new truck should be able to pull this thing no problem man we're rocking over 700 horsepower here and these guys are still crashed outside the gates all right looks like we're on the road here Nice, we got beacons and everything back here, including my top cab beacon. Alright. Gotta make our wide turns with this bad boy. I can feel that tractor back there, man. This thing's actually struggling a little bit. Get over a lane because it looks like we're going to make a right hand turn up here at this light. Yep, right about here. Oh man, there would be a car that's going to pull in right there, wouldn't there be? Oh, and we made it. We made it. <laughs> I was getting a little nervous about that turn. So yeah, so I've got all my skills as well, all my endorsements and all the eco driving and all that sort of fun stuff. I've got all that all unlocked finally. Um, I haven't purchased any other garages that I've come across. I've pretty much have stayed to the same routes that you guys have seen in my videos. I haven't done anything out of the ordinary because the the basic. <sighs> oh, see, I'm tired now. <laughs> I haven't slept in a while. Um, the basic premise that I wanted to do for you guys is I wanted to bring you a video with a bunch of progress. My last videos I was struggling because what happens is, is I play mainly just on the camera. And it's very hard to play 20 minutes a day, 20 minutes here, 20 minutes every other day. So I just have been dedicating a lot of time to playing this game and figured that I would bring a video to you guys to where you actually get to see some of the later end game stuff and some of the improvements and some of the other stuff. Like I've paid back all my loans, I've got all the endorsements. Um, I don't think I've unlocked all the trucks though. I don't remember if I have gotten all those or not. Um, there is a mod that I was trying to install but it's not working that I thought would have been freaking really awesome and it actually installs a Peterbilt truck into the game but for whatever reason it's just it's not like I'm putting it in but nothing's happening so I just don't know if it's not running the right version or really what the deal is but uh, there's actually a rest stop right here that I'm gonna pull into <sighs> I don't think it's gonna let me do that is it nope okay I think we're gonna have to uh, back into this here our guy's not gonna make this uh, this stop. We're gonna try and pull in right in front of this guy here.
Just like this. <sighs> Can I sleep here? Is it gonna let me? Doesn't look like it's gonna let me. It's not giving me the, uh... Okay, I detached my trailer. I'm gonna see if I can go to sleep up here. Is it gonna let me sleep yet? I smash my grill into the curb. No, it's not letting me sleep here either. What the heck? I wonder why it's not letting me sleep. trying to sleep, trust me. And it's still not letting me sleep. We should be inside the, bo the box like it's asking us to. Here, let's try something. Let's circle around. Let's go across to the other side here. Oh boy, this is gonna suck. <laughs> We're going to come on this side here now. There we go. Now we can rest. Holy cow. All right, now we can go. Now we just got to get to the other side. Just like this. There we go. We're in business. Just like that. Okay. That was kind of a cluster just to get to a resting spot, but we needed it nonetheless. And I just thought of something. I think I just gave my green truck to the new driver with like a half a tank of fuel or less. I don't think I filled it up for him, but eh, he'll get over it. Alright, so on we go. We've got a four hour trip ahead of us. I don't want to make this video too long, so if it gets to be any much longer, then I'll probably just cut it when we get to our destination and uh, pick it up there and then wrap this video up. And then when we come back, we'll uh, I'll continue to make videos. And hopefully I can figure out that Peterbilt mod. A lot of people were saying that I guess it isn't for the newest version. I think we're on 1.3.1 of Euro Truck, so I don't know if there's a, uh, a Peterbilt truck for that because I really wouldn't mind getting that truck. I might continue to, I messed with that a lot last night, and uh, I just couldn't figure it out. So yeah, so I think that's what I'll do. Uh, like I said, I spent a lot of time on the truck dealers and showing you guys the other stuff that I don't want to make this video too long, so I think I'll cut it here, and then when we come back, I'll be just pulling into our destination for this route, and hopefully by the next video, I will have figured out that Peterbilt, so we'll be right back. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are just about to our destination here. We're pulling into a uh, little toll booth. I don't know if you guys have ever seen one of these or not, but yeah, you gotta pull into toll booths here. Pretty fancy stuff. Just like this. Start a toll road. Keep the ticket and press the key to follow. There you go. You gotta pay your toll to get across the bridge. I wanted to pick that uh, scene up really quick for you guys, so that way you guys can see us going through a toll booth. I know it's exciting, huh? 
But you know what though, that's the whole point of me making this video, is just all the new areas that we've explored and we're going to explore. I've tried not to explore a whole lot without you guys. So that way you guys can see all the new countrysides, the toll booths. I mean, you guys can see my destination on the little mini GPS down there. We've actually got an in-cab GPS down there as well now, instead of always having to use that big one. So in essence, we can probably, you know, swap this to different things like this. So we can check out our damages, we can check out our cargo name, destination. That's actually probably a better one. So we've got a job income of $14,500. So that, now you guys can see why I'm making so much money. <clears throat> I'm sure that was probably where you guys were like, you know, asking like, well, how is he making so much money all of a sudden? Well, there you guys go. Like my trailers I've been taking, like these ones have been ranging between fourteen and twenty thousand dollars a run so it's five trailer loads and you know you're making really really quick and easy money go ahead and scoot over a little bit here But yeah, I'm excited to hopefully get that Peterbilt, <clears throat> that Peterbilt mod uh, installed. It's not even really a mod. <clears throat> I'm not even sure how to really install it. It's like more like just like a file that I guess you drop into the mods folder. If you guys know, let me know in the comments below how to install it because I've downloaded these Peterbilt trucks and they all say just to drop it in the mods folder. And when I drop it in there, it's supposed to turn all of the uh, a specific dealership of trucks into the Peterbilt truck, but I'm just not seeing it, unless I'm doing something wrong here. Yeah, this truck has got a lot of power. I can see getting a lot of speeding tickets in this thing. But it's just so much fun just to step on it and go, instead of uh, having to creep along here. And I can sense the speeding ticket coming since I'm floating past traffic pretty fast. Come on, man. Out of the way. You see? There you go. Good job. I'm really shocked the NPC actually knew to move aside. Slower traffic to the right. Oh. I thought we were slipping a little bit there. I think it was just me tapping the, uh, the key too much. So, yeah. So, we've got uh, an excavator. We're taking it to uh, Dijon Stokes. Expect the time of Monday or Tuesday. Um, we've got about six hours remaining on the job. <clears throat> I like the effects. You can actually see the beacon whoa, flashing off the other truck. I almost crashed into him too. That wouldn't have been good. Damage our load right before we get there. I thought we were a lot closer than this. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I saw the uh, little beacon down there showing where our destination was, and uh, it's quite a bit further than I, than it looked like. I see it on the mini map down there. I just thought it was a lot closer than this for you. I guess I was a little too antsy to show you guys the toll booth. <laughs> I was a little little too anxious. See, I see the destination on the mini map, or on a mini dash GPS. It's gotta be coming up here any minute now. Yeah, it looks like we've got a couple of little turns coming up here, and then we're going to be reaching our destination. Man, this rain is just so soothing. Okay, so it looks like we've got ourselves a right turn coming up here. 
So we're going to try and shoot past this guy. And then we're going to jump over like this. The brakes on this thing are amazing too. Like you hit the brakes and this thing stops on a dime and leaves a nickel change. Tight turns were just not made for trucks. Oh, we got a left turn yield. Okay, nobody's coming. Yeah, this thing is pulling this thing up the hill, isn't it? And excavators, man, those things are heavy. Very, very heavy. Oh, we got ourselves another tool booth. Wow, two in one video. What are the chances of that? A little closer. There we go. 36 bucks. That is an expensive freaking toll. Holy cow. Thirty-six dollars, jeez. These people are. I'm in the wrong business. Thirty-six bucks a vehicle passing through there. I need to be a toll booth collector. Okay, so I guess our destination is, yeah, it's at the end of this road. We're going to go hang a right down there at that turn, and then uh, it'll be straight ahead from there. Now I can see it. Yep, yeah, right up here, we're going to veer right, and then our destination will be at the end of the road. Yikes, dude. Holy, I about freaking destroyed that guy. I would have just shredded that guy to pieces hitting him. Oh no, I took out a sign back there. I took my turn too sharp. Just about here. Dijon Discover. Yeah, this was the first trip that I've taken. The reason I haven't discovered any of this is because we actually travel to the dealership to purchase those trucks for our people. That's why we haven't explored any of this over here. So we're doing all new, all new sections and routes over here, if you guys couldn't tell. Like I said before, I wasn't playing when I said I stuck to the uh, the basics getting to where I'm at here. I wanted to show you guys all the new stuff. Oh, looks like a right turn for us. And then our destination is right there in that factory. Onward! go and of our day and we're just gonna go ahead and skip the parking and go right to uh, getting our experience so look at that money see look at the experience I got for that amazing simply amazing well, there you guys go. I'm going to try and get that uh, Peterbilt mod, mod, 
get the Peterbilt mod installed and hopefully when we come back I will uh, give this truck to somebody else and I'll be driving that. Hope you guys enjoyed another Euro Truck Simulator. Have a great day.